Welcome to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a brand new day. I noticed that the timestamps on my vlog, so like down here, wherever it is, I honestly don't know what side it's on. Um, they are an hour later than the actual time that it is. So I feel like I've been saying good morning and it's like 1030 and y'all are probably like, wow, this, this girl is lazy AF, which we all deserve lazy days. So I'm not shaming the lazy days, but it is currently 8.46, I woke up at eight o'clock. I need to just have like a zen morning. So that's what we're doing together. I look crazy and that's okay because I'm just, I need to embrace myself today. I need to just like get my head right, get my mind right. And I think I'm gonna do like a self-care morning because I have a lot to do today. My dad's memorial services this weekend and I just feel like it's a very high stress situation to begin with but I am like so stressed and like so anxious because we didn't figure out a lot of the what needed to be figured out until like still figuring it out today. And it's the day before. Ah, oh, so, you know, I really wanted this week to just be a week of me concentrating on my mind and like getting my mind right. I'm gonna talk while I hair oil with you guys, which I've done before. Um, I'm not gonna do like a specific overview, but I'll tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I'm just brushing it out with my normal hairbrush um i forgot what i was saying oh i just wanted this week to be like a week of me focusing on my emotions and like getting myself mentally right whereas it's been a week of like action 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 and like just having to do so i really haven't had the time to think about my feelings i've just been going 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 doing 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 and so here we are and I need to slow it down. I'm gonna take the next couple hours to just do me. I haven't worked out at all this week, which you know, sometimes your body needs that, but I usually feel better when I work out. I've just been like so emotionally and physically drained, but I think I'm gonna get a workout in today. So I think that will help set my mind right. I'm taking a bamboo brush and I'm just brushing my hair. My hair really needs it after being in the Miami sun, which like how fun was that? I'm editing the Miami vlog and I'm so, it's so exciting. Cause it just I feel like I'm not sitting here and doing the same things I'm always doing and being sad. I mean, I was very sad in Miami. I, I mentioned at the end of the vlog, which it's already been up, so I'll link it up here. I did struggle while we were away, which is normal and it's okay. And I'm gonna struggle no matter what with my feelings. I'm looking forward to being with my whole family. That'll be nice to like remember and reminisce about my dad. I feel like that's good for my soul. But I talked to a grief counselor for the first time ever. Like not, I mean, yeah, a grief counselor. I've never spoken to anyone. Like I've never spoken to a therapist or anyone in like that sort of field. And it was pretty interesting. You know, she gave me um, some insight. We didn't really like vibe. Not that there was any problems. She just didn't really give me like a warm and welcoming feeling. So I don't think I'll go back to her. She asked me if I have dreams about my dad and I do pretty often. And like right after it happened, it was like every day I would have dreams of him. And the first one was nice, but then the rest of them like weren't really that nice. And then she asked me about like my grandpa and what my dreams are of him. And they're like kind of similar to the dreams of my dad. When I dream about my Aunt Lisa, I dream like happy things. Like she's always happy. She's always giggling. She's always like with my Aunt Maria, who's her sister. And she talks about Joey and she talks about Madison and she just seems like really, really happy. And so the grief counselor said that she thinks that I have peace and closure with the passing of my aunt, but it doesn't sound like I have the same with my dad and with my grandpa. You know, I think with my dad, I had months of realizing that it was coming. So I think, you know, to someone who doesn't really understand grief or just like an outsider looking in, one might think, well, you, you know, you at least knew it was coming. Like, how do you not have closure? And let me just be clear in this whole thing. And I think it's really crazy and I'm very proud of myself, but I am definitely grateful in the sense that, you know, my dad didn't just like, you know, die instantly. I'm grateful that that didn't happen to me. I'm grateful that I got to spend time with my family and my father. And I feel like I've gotten a lot closer with my siblings in the last seven months. So there are things that come out of sad times that I am grateful for. And I think that's a healthy mindset. But like, I just like never had discussion of like, like with my dad about him like passing. And I think for me, that's something that I needed 
but that's not something that my dad wanted so it never happened and so she just told me like maybe you should write a letter to your dad like saying what it is you would have said it sounds like for me to heal I need to remember him so she was like put pictures out which I already did you guys saw in my closet I'm using jojoba oil and Mary Mary rosemary mint she said that like you should specify a day like once a week or once a month where you and your siblings and maybe your mom if she's up to it like get together and like have lunch together and you guys just like talk about your dad she's like i feel like remembrance is something that will help you heal because you don't want to forget and she said like i feel like i'm hearing from you that you're scared you're gonna forget and that's true so you know i have some work to do you know i think everyone should go see a therapist so i'm gonna do that i'm proud of myself that i went i was like really hesitant to go and i was scared but i sat down and i like really talked to her and when i left i felt like a weight was like lifted off my shoulders it was just like nice to talk to someone and get their perspective i wanted to share that with you guys because i'm trying to you know be open and honest i want to make it like normal i want to like normalize grief and like going through it and like seeking help o'clock I woke up about 15 minutes ago Mike made me a nice cup of coffee um it's my dad's memorial mass today and I feel like I was gonna be sad just in general but I had a dream about him which was nice but like not great timing because I have to read at this mass and I feel like I'm just gonna bawl my eyes out I told you guys in the beginning of this video that I met with a grief counselor last week and she told me to start writing down my dreams. And so I wrote down this dream and this was a nice dream. Basically, I, I was at a church with my girlfriend Katie and I said, give me like 10 minutes. I'm gonna go grab my stuff and I'm gonna leave. And she's like, I don't have 10 minutes. I said, do you have two minutes? She said, sure. I went in the church to get my stuff. I couldn't find my church. I couldn't find my church. I couldn't find my stuff. The church was packed um, and my whole family was there. And I was like, oh, I guess I should stay. So I decided I was gonna stay. So then I tried to, to find a seat and my mom and my grandma were there and they were sitting there were no seats next to them i thought i found a seat but one of the like clergy people told me that i couldn't sit there and then i turned around and my dad had an open seat next to him and he motioned for me to come sit with him and i sat down next to him and he like wrapped his arm around me and gave me a kiss on the side of my cheek and just like held the kiss on my cheek. Yeah, so this is how I'm starting my day. I'm so sorry. I look like a mess, but you know, I, I said I was gonna be real here. Um, the sun is coming out. I'm happy it's gonna be a sunny day because my dad would want that. I just don't know how I'm gonna do my reading. I don't know. Plus it's from the Bible, obviously. And it's got that like, you know, I don't even know what the word is, biblical language where it's English, but it's like words are misplaced. Like they would be in like, I guess Latin, no offense, but you know what I'm saying? Like if you know how to speak English and then you learn another language, like a Latin language, it's like the words come in opposite orders than English. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying as someone who speaks English, it's hard to, uh, you know, feel like the sentence doesn't flow as easily off the tongue. Um, and I'm probably gonna be a mess, but fingers crossed for me, I'm gonna like, pamper myself a little bit. Mike and I went to get sushi last night, which I showed you guys, and I'm, I drank too many glasses of wine. I think I had three glasses of wine and I feel a little hung today. So yeah, please, God, um, you'll be watching this after the fact, but say a prayer for me because this is a nice thing. My senor, whenever I'm sad, he just like honestly seems to be right here. So that's been really nice for me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to spend some cat time with my cat. I'm put some stuff away. I cleaned this room the other day, uh, literally yesterday. You would have no idea. But look at this face. He has one white whisker on the top of his head and 
I love his white whisker. And the day that my dad passed, his white whisker fell out. And every time his white whisker falls out, I get very upset. But I cried too many tears for my dad that day. So no tears were cried this time for the white uh, whisker on his head. But it's coming back. Can you see right there? It's right there. Let me see. Right here is the outfit. I wore some cheetah heels because my dad would expect something crazy of me. This is it. Wish me luck. No mascara. Gotta put a lip on. Day. like I had such a nice day the day of my dad's service like I really felt like it was the perfect day and like I'm not and I you know I'm not one to say that something's perfect or something's great when it's not I can't even describe like I have chills right now I don't even know if you can see the hair standing up on my arms like I felt so at peace like i was sad during the service i definitely cried a lot i actually like bawled my eyes out it was just like so nice and i really felt like he was there with me and i told you guys the morning of that i had that dream of him about him being in a church with me and telling me to come sit beside him my brother gave a eulogy and the eulogy was great i feel like it really paid like the most perfect tribute to my dad it was very my dad the poster board was great my mom did a great job me my sister and my brother all wrote a little piece to my dad and my mom put it on the poster board the repast was really nice the food was great i had just a nice time catching up with like my cousins who i haven't seen in a while but like honestly going back to the service really quick there was a really nice turnout like a lot of people came out um for my dad and it was really nice i'm not really the best reader out loud which is why like i'm not kidding you the morning of the service i i read my reading that i knew i was reading i read it to brogan like 20 times and every time i cried i had to stop and like redo it so i was pretty prepared although i did get emotional but i was pretty good with my reading so after the repast so after the restaurant we some of us grabbed a drink after and it was really nice like i don't know i just feel like my dad was always like the life of the party and made like everyone feel really welcome so it was like nice to grab a drink after in honor of him and then I'm not even kidding you like when I tell you the sky that night when Mike and I were driving home was so pretty it was so like green it was so pretty I've never seen the sky look that pretty you know how like when you go on social media or like wherever like people always say that they chase like sunsets because it makes them think of like those that they've lost like I sorry I really felt like my dad was there in that sunset Mike like was like oh my god this guy looks insane and I just sat there and I just like stared in the moment I was like wow I should really take a video of this but I didn't because you know like the video never looks as good as it does in real life so I just wanted to soak up every moment of that sunset but I like kind of regret that I didn't take a picture or like a video or anything and then when we got home there was like this one star in the sky that was right above our house and it was so bright like so bright so I asked Mike to like pull up his sky app that like tells him what what star you're pointing at and it was Polaris which I didn't know but that's the north star so I just thought it was really nice like I feel like a lot of things happened, at least for me, maybe in my crazy head, like you might think that I'm crazy, that really like solidified that my dad was there and was like really happy with the day. So yeah, I had a really nice day. It was really sad, it was hard. This week was Valentine's Day, it was so cute. I actually think I took a little clip of it. So romantic. I'm excited to try our new glasses. What a chef, what a Valentine's Day. 
What'd you make, chef? We have some ravioli, some chicken parm. A lot of gravy. Farm-raised chickens that we grew outside and wow. I slaughtered this afternoon. That's not nice. I don't approve of that. Don't make me some feathers on the chicken. This looks really good, though. Yum. All right, let's eat. Thanks, babe. I came home from work and Mike had like a candle at dinner for the two of us. It was so cute. Uh, he made raviolis and chicken parm. Yum. It was so much fun in our big ass wine glasses that he bought for us about a month ago that we haven't had a chance to use yet. Speaking of wine, I finished our Napa trip. We're going to Napa in April for my birthday. I'm so excited, but I finished booking all the wineries today. So I think we're set. But of course, I'm like walking, hustling to the bus this afternoon after I had texted Mike to be like, I'm done with Napa. And then our favorite winery called me and said they had to change our time. So we kind of have a longer gap in between wineries on that day and I can't really do anything about it. Michael bought me a five minute skin for Valentine's Day at home hair removing device. We're gonna try this. I am oh so excited. I asked for this for Christmas and I totally forgot that I asked for it for Christmas and he didn't get it for me for Christmas, but he saved it for Valentine's Day, which I think is pretty bomb. So I am going to see you know, you're gonna have to stay tuned for this too because this is gonna be an ongoing process, but basically it's like an at-home laser. And I don't know about you, but I'm a very hairy, dark-haired Italian, Italian. I got pale skin, which, you know, I didn't really get from my Italian ancestors, but I got their dark ass, coarse ass hair, so there's that. I wanted to show you guys this bat that Mike bought me that I'll show you because I have him like perched up over there. It's not a real bat. It's not a real bat, okay? Don't come for me. Don't get scared. I've always had a really big thing for bats. My favorite book when I was little was Stella Luna. I had the bat beanie baby. I loved it. I am just like a bat freak. And Mike bought me, it's called Send a Friend. I got it right before we went to Miami. Bawled my eyes out. But it's like a stuffed animal and he sent me this really cute card and it was like, hang in there. Like, I'm here for you. Like, because of my dad. Oh my God. It's the cutest thing. And it's so cute that... Mike bought it and they gave him like a $5 coupon that I bought a penguin for my mom, which I think should be coming either today or tomorrow. So I'm very excited for her to get it. Um, but look at this freaking bat. Look how cute he is. His name is Banks and he just honestly like makes me so happy. And he like hugs himself, look at him and his little wings. But like this, my God, tell me my husband is not the best because you literally can't. Look at this freaking bat. Look, look at this freaking bat. I love Halloween. Okay, I'm making slow cooked chicken taco bowls for dinner. And I'm gonna be honest, I have never used, personally never used a slow cooker. So I'm a little scared. I'm basically gonna put all the ingredients in here with you all and then wait until Mike gets out of his meeting to then have him put it on because I don't know why I'm very, I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of an explosion. Um, this is really easy though. One, two, three, four five ingredients so if you're looking for a quick dinner i don't know if this is good we'll find out later together but let's make it together now 10 ounces of frozen corn very exciting okay a can of black beans we're talking like this is quick and then i really need to work out today has really gone away for me um no it's not tuna and then you have Brogan, which every time I open a can, did you hear him meow? He thinks it's tuna, it's not. It's not tuna, it's literally beans. You're not gonna eat it. You're not gonna eat this. I'll let you smell it. Because for some reason you don't believe me. But can't you smell tuna? It's not tuna, sir. I'm very sorry for your, yep, sorry for your disappointment. One jar of salsa, I don't know. Mike likes mild, but I feel like I have a medium, so. Don't tell him that I put medium in it. It says to put a pound of tenderloins or chicken breasts. I always get Purdue um, and I got a pound 0.27. So a little bit more, but you know, what are you gonna do? I don't like raw meat, gross. Raw fish, I'll eat raw fish all day. Actually doesn't look bad. We're gonna shred it after it's cooked for a little bit, which I like because I don't like, a whole, I'm very weird with chicken. Anyone else weird with chicken? I'm very weird. I don't like it if it's like crunchy. I don't like it if it's too thick. I'll eat shredded chicken all day, every day. Wash my hands. Taco seasoning. I guess I should see which one expires first. 
It says to use the whole pack. This is what it looks like. Granted, I need to mix it together, but I just want to show you start to finish. So here's the start. I mix it up and it like really, I mix it up and it doesn't really look that much better. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to do this on my own. I really don't know how to use this, but it needs to cook on high for four hours. So we'll come back to this when it's time to eat. And I'm definitely gonna have a glass of wine with this. Faux show. Sure. It's Friday and Friday means wine. And Thursday means wine too, because I did have wine last night. And I also had wine on Wednesday, so every day means wine. This is what it looks like. It really doesn't look that appealing. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, um, but I need to shred the chicken with two forks. So I'm gonna do that now. This is what it looks like now. Better, I'd say. Not great. You know, if there's one thing I do feel good about, it's opening a bottle of wine. So not a lot of things do I feel good about right now. My food's kind of cold. The lighting in here is terrible. I probably should have brushed my hair um, before hitting film, but here we are. Look at the size of these glasses. They are literally the size of my head. I think they're called Moen. Mike bought them for us. Let me tell you something. These very easily will most likely break in this kitchen, especially considering that Mike the monster breaks all of our favorite glassware in this house, um, but I'm determined to keep these alive. Look at this. Look at this. <sighs> tell me this is not, tell me this is not like bougie, this glass. Very romantic. I'm copying Michael. Just, you know, he did this first for Valentine's Day, but I just really enjoyed sitting here. Now, fingers crossed the food's good. This is more realistically the vibe. I don't want to, I don't want to eat in the dark, I don't think. Although I would. But I don't know. I don't trust my cooking enough to eat in the dark. I think maybe if Mike cooked, I would eat in the dark. We're, we're in it. <sighs> You're in it to win it. Do I look okay? Look fat? You look fabulous. That's my posture. You look sexy. Uh, uh. Wait, oh no. But you're a little crooked dog. Tell me when we're recording. Okay, we're recording. What are we recording? Um, show them my, I forgot what it's called, chicken bowl. Chicken yes. fajita bowl. Chicken fajita bowl. We added olives and we added sour cream and a little bit of Mexican cheese. Yep. And now I'm and gonna wine. And now I'm gonna eat a, the chicken fajita. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get your reaction. It's been a long week. It's been a very long week. It's been a long month. Yeah. It's been a long year so far, but we shall overcome. Why are you I almost just spit out my wine. Why? I don't know. It's so true. It's we sad. Are, it's like overcome. so sad. It's funny. Let's give it a shot. Mm. That's really good, babe. Are you lying? No, it's good. Your face is like very unconvincing. It's Inconvincing? Hardy. It's what? It's hearty. That's why you have a glass of cab next to you. Yeah, I like it. I think it's good. It's good for a February night and a March night, probably. Whoa. What was that? Brogan's acting like a maniac. Mm, he's a demon. Oh, uh, sir. What's he doing? Please. What are you doing? Licking your butt on the couch? No, he's like spinning around. <gasps> Don't spin around on the couch. Get down, please. Get down. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Give yourself a moment. Give yourself a second. Re Woosa, relax. Okay, get down, seriously. Thank you. Hi, it's me from the future. I am editing this vlog. Um, can you tell that I've been blowing my eyes out because um, this was a very emotional vlog for me. I hope it was, you know, enjoyable, even though it was very sad. Anyway, if you made it this far, I just wanted to come on here and clarify that the chicken feed bowls were bomb. I know that Mike's face was not convincing, but Maybe one of my favorite dishes that I've made. Super easy, super quick, delicious. So I highly recommend. I will put the recipe down below. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you in my next vlog. And until then, I hope you, your family, all of your loved ones are well. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.